Okay. <laughs> uh, I just noticed I was looking fat there. I just had lunch. Anyways, uh, I had started this project uh, a little while ago. I was talking about uh, razor blades. Um, yeah, razor blades and how they were better for uh, stripping wood. Uh, and I have finished in my spare time, like I have any. Uh, I, I finished doing all, all the outside. Oop, got too closer. I finished stripping it uh, and I, I was about to finish or go and do the inside part. And I thought, well, I should probably talk sometime. And uh, it's Sunday, and I try and I try and do work on Sundays uh, for my own pet projects. Uh, like, if you watch the other, I just made a video about DJs. Uh, hey, so if you're a chick and you want to be a DJ, uh, check out the other video. I don't know where it's at. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make some music. Uh, it'll be fun. Anywho, back to this. Uh, man, over the time while I was sanding it, uh, so many things have started and stopped and, you know, it's all about just continuing, keeping on and on and on and on. Uh, so, it's still going. This thing's not finished. Uh, and while I've had time to, to work on it and strip it, man, it's gone through many thoughts. Uh, I thought, I'm building a, a couple uh, JBL Hi-Fi's right now, speakers, and I was like, maybe this should be the bass bin. Um, and I, I've been talking to this guy online, uh, another Instagrammer. Uh, I, I aspire to get into Western electric gear, and um, this guy, uh, DSP London, you should go check him out. He's, uh, he's deep in the game, he's over in England. Um, he showed me a uh, 604 project he just completed. And he did three, three thicknesses of wood. And this is, this is pine. Um, this started life uh, in the Fender factory, probably around 1970. Uh, and it was never meant to be hi-fi. It was meant to, to be able to be picked up put into the trunk of a Volkswagen Bug uh, and then driven to the next show so that uh, I should let you see the joke here that 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 will never fit in a Volkswagen Bug that was funny uh, maybe you didn't catch that I I like to make jokes anywho <laughs> anyways uh, this beast of a cabinet um, it's not it's not uh, hi-fi it's not uh, I was trying to wrap my head around how can I make this uh, there's another guy named Ojas or Ojas or I'm not sure exactly how you say that how you pronounce it but he's in New York he's another hipster uh, he's very exciting to watch uh, he made a, a beautiful display uh, in a gallery um, just type in OJAS and uh, you'll find him he's he's another dude taking this thing to the next level I personally am uh, taking this as a fight. I feel like he has slapped me with a white glove and I feel challenged. I, I like it, I love it actually. And I, if you look at my other gear, uh, you'll see, uh, I feel like I'm in the same game as him. He's, uh, I did it in musical instruments first. He's done it just now in playback, in like uh, listening. Uh, I did it for playing. Uh, they're different disciplines, uh, but as I age and I, uh, I've been building gear for like 25 years now, and I feel like I've built pretty much well everything. I am building a couple Marshalls for myself right now and a Vox, um, but besides that, I feel like those are going to be like the last pieces I build, uh, you know, unless, you know, somebody steps up and makes me an offer I can't refuse, but shy of that, uh, I think I'm nearing the end of making a uh, musical instrument gear. Um, unless I can wrap my head around a factory and have uh, other 
passionate people play with me. That would be cool. Uh, but shy of that, if I have to do it myself, I'm gonna dedicate the next 10 years to uh, stepping in the ring with these, with at least these two cats, and I'm just learning about them. So we got Mr. Oha, o Ojas, Mr. Ojas, J Ojas, uh, DSP London. There's another dude, uh, Oswald Mills. He's uh, in Brooklyn. That guy's badass too. So, I mean, I'm sure there's more of the Triode Mafia out there that I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a student, so I'm learning. Long story short, back to this beast. This is not a hi-fi cabinet. So any effort by me to like add stuff to this pine, uh, the back is not even MDF. I think it's like LODF. Uh, you can see the chip, like chip. So like I said, not, not hi-fi. So I had to back off of that thought. Um, and what I've come to is that I should, it, it used to be this pyramid thing. Uh, some engineer got the green light at um, Fender to go ahead and make something cool. And I'm sorry, sir, but it sucked. It really sucked. You'd stand in front of it and there was like phase cancellation. It, it maybe was hit, maybe my, if my ear, if I had, you know, ears on my knees, maybe, so we put microphones down low and even they were like, fuck you, this don't work. We don't like it. So we basically smashed out the front of it, pulled, what, we pulled the drivers first. Then we smashed the front of it. And uh, you can see sort of some of it here now, but uh, I still have the drivers. They were like base drivers. Uh, they're Jensen, they're cool. And they didn't get blown because nobody ever played it. Uh, they're kind of minty. So I'm gonna put them back in, but in a standard, like normal, like say Marshall. Mar this is actually bigger than a Marshall, so it should, I, I've got Marshall cabs. Uh, this one will be a Fender cab, 412. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll be cool. Uh, it's not gonna be hi-fi. Um, I don't need it to be hi-fi. Uh, I've got plenty of Fender amps uh, that will enjoy sitting on top of it or around it. I'm also building a Fender Reverb, a 6G15. I have a an early one. Um, Jolly Roger's actually building that one right now. So uh, just like uh, a ton of projects I'm working on, that 6G15, I got all the way to like the out, the, the transformer that drives the reverb tank. And I was like, this old stock one sucks. I don't want all this effort all these new hi-fi paper and oil caps, all this silver wire, all this stuff is gonna go into that crappy little transformer? Nah. So I hit eBay. I was like, man, I'm gonna find me something cool uh, to put on here. So I'll, I'll be pleased with the results. Um, so I searched for long as time to find something cool and I didn't find anything. So I ended up buying a Hammond one. Uh, I say that like, I'm sorry or sad, but honestly, it's a good one. Um, and I've just recently found a couple more. So when it rains, it pours, that's good. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which one's gonna go in there, but it'll be more pleasing. I'll be making a full video of that uh, and share that with you as well when it's, you know, when we can listen to it. Um, so things go sideways. There have been at least from the time I started this, you know, my hands get tired. I was talking about ambidextrous, you gotta use both hands and you do one panel, you get tired. And uh, you know, I get, uh, I get to the end of the day, I'm stopped and then tomorrow happens and then there's a fucking fire, something happens, I gotta do something gotta buy a new transformer, don't like this one, that pauses that project. So like right now, I swear to God, I'm working on at least two dozen projects. Um, the key is to keep going. Even though it might get a little crazy from time to time, if you nest everything together, when I worked at Motorola, Motorola actually is the one who taught me how to do this. 
um, it's called a program. You, uh, you develop a program, you say, okay, I wanna, I wanna make a scratch build Western Electric 91 amplifier. That's a 300B uh, from Western Electric. And by the way, Western Electric, alive and well, they're kicking butt. Dude, I don't even have time to go into Western Electric right now. They're so cool. And I'm, I'm trying to talk about this and program development uh, right now. So we'll stay there, Mr. Western Electric, or actually it's not Mr. Western Electric. <laughs> okay, uh, programs. You just gotta nest it. You get some bins, you get, you know, you go to Target and you get some plastic bins so you can see through them. You put blue tape on it, you Sharpie on the side of it, and you say reverb program. 6G15, throw a date on there, you know, to nut check yourself, like get back to it. Uh, and then inside, when you open it up, when you're like, okay, this transformer just came in, I'm gonna throw it into that bin so that it goes in the right place. So then when I get back to it, boom, it's there. Um, you need to keep a log also. You keep a log, just, it could be a single sheet of paper, line, date, uh, parts need to be ordered. Uh, you know, what else are you looking for? When you're going through your holdings, you'll find, oh, here's that pile of one watt, 100,000 ohm resistors in carbon composition. I wanted these for my plate load resistors. Let's go over to this pro, let's just take the bag and see how many programs I can backfill right now. Oh, boom, 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 all right. A couple steps got done, a couple things off the list. Those three programs just came forward a step. You know, maybe not anything too sizable, but they came forward. You, you were able to get something done. So these programs, if you juggle multiple things at a time, you'll notice that there will be stopping points. And if you stop and just like leave it all in one pile, um, you'll forget what the fuck you're doing. You'll, you'll get sidetracked, it'll get frustrating. Um, a year will go by and you'll be like, yeah, I, I, I accomplished two or three things. I don't really know, you know, two things exploded already. I don't know. I, I don't know about you, I don't explode shit, but just saying. Uh, yeah, programs. It's okay for things to go sideways. As long as you're tracking your work, as long as you're taking notes, as long as you keep everything nested in a program and stacked and placed and, you know, categorized, you can develop things all the way to completion. And then, you know, you throw them in a completion pile and take a photo of it, maybe put it on Instagram, share it with everyone. Look back, I just look back at some of the things I've done. It, it makes you feel good on a Sunday. And then it gives you the power to go forward the next week. Um, yeah, I like that. Anywho, uh, it's uh, October now. I got my pumpkin in here and uh, got a little jade keeping me company while I'm playing here. So anyways, I, uh, I'm gonna be doing just a standard old guitar cabinet. That's cool, it'll be fine for me um, with this program. And then uh, I'll be building this uh, JBL thing and I'm going to sneak into this JBL build of speakers. I'm gonna sneak in some Western Electric designs um, just so that I can start to flesh out what I'm doing. Um, I also have some Altec Lansing stuff and uh, Altec is like the, you know, the little brother to Western Electric. So as I learn WECO, Western Electric Company. Uh, I'll be doing that with Altec gear. Um, and as that's a continuation of Western Electric, I feel like it's in the right vein. And um, I'll learn. And by the time, you know, I have acquired all of the bits and pieces uh, I need for a WECO thing, uh, I'll know what the hell I'm doing. Um, and until then, I'm leaning on people like Larry at DSP London. That guy is a, a wealth of knowledge. He's uh, ahead of me uh, in this game of hi-fi. And 
obviously people like o Ojas and, and uh, Oswald Mills and the rest of the Triad Mafia, all those guys are ahead of me as well, uh, down the path, so to speak. But uh, I, I have passion and I have uh, a learned education um, from the last 30 years of playing in electronics and uh, working for some really nice companies. I'm not gonna talk about all of them now, that would be too long, uh, but I've learned a lot. Um, and I feel like I can apply all those things to this passion. And uh, I feel like, you know, when we're all chilling in heaven and uh, sitting in the big listening room together and we have our uh, heaven systems, I feel like I'll, I'll have a pretty cool heaven system. And, uh, you know, that'll make me feel good. So until then, I'm going to keep working on some of these projects. It, it feels a little tired because like my passion is in tomorrow uh, while I still have things of today uh, that is like knocking dust off of history and polishing it up to make it something uh, that's usable because I, I am still a musician. I am going to uh, rough and tough this sucker. Uh, we have uh, a bunch of places here in Los Angeles to play, even if it's just parking lots and backyards and, you know, plenty of places. Bars, clubs, stages. I'm gonna have fun. I know you're gonna have fun. I'm planning on getting uh, six supermodel chicks, like, uh, you know, yeah, like Charlie's Angels, except I'm not Charlie and I'm hoping they're not angels. <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do a DJ thing. And uh, we'll be uploading that as a channel. I'm, I'm expecting it to grow past six, uh, but in the first part, we're just gonna focus on six so that, uh, you know, there's at least six days of work in a week. And uh, that, that'll give me, you know, time to open up my studio to, uh, you know, one supermodel a night to play with the uh, hi-fi. Uh, I'm gonna add bass bins and more speakers to that JBL wall, put a proper wall together. I still have my tour bus. If you look at my other uh, uploads and whatnot on Instagram, you'll see I have an MCI tour bus and there's tons of room in there to put more speakers than I have. So I'll continue buying speakers and continue making bigger JBL stacks. Um, and I'm doing it with tubes. So uh, right now I have a Altec 1570, which is push-pull, like 150 watts. They, they say more, but uh, it, it's, it's a little power amp, not little, in, in the world of tube amps, it's kind of big. Uh, but I've got a pair of those. I'll probably need at least, I don't know, six of those. So if you have 1570s uh, and you're willing to let go of them, uh, I'd love to have them send them over uh, or you know tell me your demands uh, and we'll see if we can work something out i also uh, have 1569s those are 100 watt el34 amps uh, those are going to get converted to 807s which is a military tube uh, i have hundreds of those i hoarded those for a long time they're beautiful tubes and uh, they're a little stronger and more robust than uh, home grade EL34s, they're, they're war grade. So uh, that's kind of what raves are. That's kind of like a love war, a war of love, something like that. So these tubes will be perfect for that. Um, the other ones in the 1570s, those are 811s. And I like the 811, but there's really nice 845s. The MP the impedance is a little different, but you know, it's tubes and they're peerless transformers. They're pretty gnarly. I don't know. I also have a lot of 811s. Maybe, well, I'm gonna be listening and we'll play, we'll play. So you'll get to hear uh, and I'll be making those uh, 1570s into touring uh, amplifiers for this rave thing that I'm putting together. Um, 
Yeah. That's at least two kinds of amps. Then there's another 50 watt amp. It's a 1568, I believe. Uh, and that's more EL 34s, except once again, they'll be converted to 807s. So it's like a 50, a 100, and then a 150. So a stack of three different kinds of amplifiers. And then we'll have a wall of JBL speakers. Uh, I like big horns. Um, I think I'm gonna cheat and bring in some uh, Western electric designs. There's the 15 Alpha design. Uh, that's a big mouth. It, it, it's impressive visually. And it also does this weird thing where you kind of feel like God has you like here and going, oh. So it, it's pretty freaking cool. Um, not exactly sure what driver for that especially with 50 watts but maybe it's I don't know, it'll be western electric something and el nico not not western electric pardon me i digress getting ahead of myself it'll be an altec something only like 500 to 600 750 dollars for the horn driver maybe a thousand i don't know we'll see what what kind we end up with and you know for a rave if everyone's eating acid and uh, mushrooms and ecstasy, I don't know that anyone's gonna be complaining about the hi-fi. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, I think I've talked enough. It's 21 minutes, almost 22 minutes. I think that's time for me to go. Uh, once again, have a great day, creators. Uh, keep creating, try and run your programs, and stay cool. Love you.